and Jake will kick it off for the Aggies. Tyrone Prothrow and Brandon Brooks, the twin deep men for the tie. It'll be Prothrow from the nine. And in the secondary, Jerome Dennis back after an injury a season ago. Cornelius Lamb, Terrence Washington, Joe Lindsay round out. Two snaps, two running plays for the Tide as Castile remains in front of Hudson. Coil to throw for the first time. It to DJ Hall. Rumble inside the 30-yard line and pick up another first down. First down tied at the 29. Hall, the 6'3 freshman out of Fort Walton. To the air again for Coil. The 20th pickup of nine. Back to Hudson. Breaks out of the pile. Toes down the sideline, but he stepped out at the eight-yard line. He looked like he was stopped for a minimal gain. three-yard line. Tide goes with the jumbo package here, though. LaRon McLean in front of Castile. But Croyle wants to throw. Flushed and dropped back at the 11-yard line. 28-yard try for the senior out of Coleman. Flags are down as the kick is good. with good protection, lobs it deep, too deep, and intercepted. Picked off by Roman Harper. Knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Hudson, the lone setback for Alabama. As Coyle, quick release, completes it to Clint Johnston. To the corner of the end zone, touchdown. McNeil slides into motion, and he'll take the handoff across the 30. First first down of the game for the Aggies as he's brought down at the 36-yard line. Low snap, almost a rugby-style kick for Chait. Brooks fields it and retreats. Tried to get to the corner, but he couldn't do it. Good pursuit that time by Utah State. Stays in there as McLean, the fullback, in front of him. Darby cuts it up. Powers forward near the 30-yard line and very close to a first down. Having to reload just a little bit this season, but plenty of talent back there. Some of that talent, Tim Castile. Bounces outside. Nothing up the middle. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Trying to get a line right. Aggies come with pressure, and they get the coil again. Sacked by John Chick. Taylor, the man that got there first. Here's Bo Freeland to punt it away. High wobbly kick. Rod McNeil calls for the fair catch. Makes it. Tide crowds the line on first down. They'll drop off those. Cox swings it out to McNeil. Sheds one tackler. Keeps those legs churning, and he'll finally go out of bounds around the 48-yard line. Two tight ends. And now Stevens comes into motion. They'll give it to Forbes. Coming to the near side with blockers, and he'll carry it all the way inside the Alabama 40-yard line. Tide comes with pressure. Quick throw and the catch made. Kevin Robinson shakes one man. Robinson will score. A little short there on that play. Might have 
possibly can be attributed to the fact that he is a freshman. I hate to say they get they make mistakes, but you know, he's got to be able to pick up the first down. Tide will punt it before the quarter comes to an end, and it's not a very good one off the side of his foot. Does take a favorable roll and fielded by McNeil. Invalid fair catch signal. The penalty is five yards for a delayed game. The quarter is not extended. It will be Utah State's ball, first and ten. Four wide receivers on second and ten. Quick throw as they swing it out to McNeil, weaving his way through traffic. Exactly right, Chris. He's one Tyler that you notice when he trots out onto the field. Setting up the screen pass. But that's not the case. The Aggies have some guys that can burn it. Third down, pressure comes. Cox eludes trouble. Across midfield into Bama territory. Ramsey Robinson brings him down. Younger brother of Tim Castile, Father Jeremiah. Low punt, but a favorable roll. And it will come to a stop at the 10 yard line. Jeremiah, Tim, and Simeon all look amazingly similar. First catch of the night for Tim Castile. Second and in inches as Castile stays in there, lining up at fullback this time in front of Ray Hudson. Castile gets the carry, the first down, and more. Explodes out near the 35-yard line. Nate Frederick finally got him to the ground. Not only do you have a fullback, but he, you have tailback type speed. Good protection for Coyle, low throw, but a nice sliding grab made that time by Keith Brown. Another high kick, fair catch called for. Bouncing, that will get into the end zone. Alabama looks to get good field position after this exchange. Another running low kick. Brooks fields it at the 33. Out to midfield and ridden down there. That's a nifty little return for Brandon Brooks. Outstanding starting position for this drive. Croyle zips it complete again. Jumbo look again. Castile, first down. Inside the 30-yard line where he's tripped up by Terrence Washington. One of five true freshmen to play last year for the Tide. Bama expects to play probably twice that many true freshmen this year. Here's Darby shifting and shaking. And scoring. Touchdown. 44. Cox loads up and zips it complete. Catch made by Kevin Robinson. He was three of four kicking field goals last year as the Aggies tried only eight all season long. They were four out of eight. His longest coming from 36 yards. The left foot kicker has the leg. It is good. So the first half comes to an end with a 44-yard field goal. 17 to 10, Bama quickly down to the field. David, we're going to listen in with Tom Roberts and Mike Shula. There you see Travis Cox's numbers from the first half. One of two quarterbacks that did see action. 
for USU. Handed off to Pennyman with some room, but a, far, a flag comes down. Holding, holding on the offense, number 72. The penalty is in there for 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Remains first down. Second down, call it seven. Cox releases high and intercepted. Picked off by Castile, and he will take it to the end zone. Pressured and sacked as flags fly. Freddie Roach drops Travis Cox. I would imagine Coach Kynes had a few words for his defense in the locker room, and they have responded so far. The running low punt by Chait. A great roll. Touchdown at the 42-yard line. 44-yard punt that time by Chait. No return. And Alabama has it on offense for the first time in the half. Coyle, the deep drop, great time, and he's going to go deep for Brown. Touchdown! Ten and a half to play here in the third quarter. Pressure, but he gets it away. Bouncing down near the 30-yard line. Brandon Brooks runs away from it. Pitch it back to Hudson. Turns the corner and close to a first down, right at 10 yards on that rushing play. It is a first down. Just shy of the 40. Play action now as Coral Rowe rolls and throws complete to Tyrone Propro. Only returning receiver with a catch after last year. A little razzle-dazzle to pro throw. They'll step out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Three-step drop and throw. What a grab by Keith Brown again. Hauled it. Hauled down right around the 20-yard line by Jerome Dennis. But I'm going to cut it upfield, get north and south, and see if I can just get a yard or two. Hudson stays in there. Shuffle pass eventually to Hudson. Brought down at the 14-yard line by Antonio Taylor. Croyle with time, guns it complete to Keith Brown, shy of midfield, but enough for the first down. And a fresh set of downs for the tie. Back to Hudson, who slips free, keeps his feet, cuts back, finally brought down at the six. Castile in front of Darby will give Hudson a chance to catch his breath. Darby gets the call, keeps the knees driving forward, and they'll spot him at the one. Two tight ends as well. Johnston slips into motion. Castile will walk into the end zone. Chate to punt it yet again. He'll run and eventually punt it. Brooks fields it in the air for the first time and will lose a couple on the return. Great coverage that time as Blake Garrett goes flying down the field. Coyle throws quickly, catch made. And a quick hit by Cornelius Lamb on Matt Cadell. Making his first start tonight. Darby cuts it up nicely. 
finds a little daylight and he will dart into Aggie territory, tripped up at the 46 yard line by Joe Lindsay. Give to Darby, straight up the gut, slips one tackle. And takes it inside the 20. Nate Frederick finally chased him down, but another big gain for Ken Darby. Heard a lot of the players this week at the press conference talk about finishing. And Alabama trying to do that right here. Hudson one more time powers his way near the 10 yard line and close to another first down. Matt Weiser on the stop. Darby with 111 and Hudson you saw there going over the century mark also. Castile this time shakes one would be tackle. A good move for them. Flags come in before the snap. Dead ball, false start, number 51, offense. Tell me five yards from the previous spot. Repeat, second down. 17-15, Troy going on the road and getting a huge win for the Sun Belt Conference. Here's Hudson racing into the end zone for the touchdown. Leon Jackson, the third, back in there, quarterback for Utah State. He will roll, throw on the run again. That one up for grabs, and it is caught at the 32. Fourth down, the Aggies will go for it, needing 10 yards. They were 9 out of 20 on fourth down conversions last year. Jackson rolling, throwing, and incomplete. Just out of the reach of Blake Garrett, and it will go over on down to Alabama. This Alabama team still short because of NCAA sanctions, only 74 players on scholarship. Of course, the maximum you can have is 85, and what a punt. He saved his best for last. Bo Freeland launches one. Aggies take over after the beautiful punt by Bo Freeland. Final 20 seconds as the clock ticks. Peter Shields, the ball carrier that time. That may be the last snap of the ball game. Brody Croyle has put on a pretty good show here tonight. 16 out of 22, 205 yards, two touchdowns. And that will do it. The Crimson Tide. Picks up its third straight season opening win. Mike Shula 2-0 in season openers. Impressively tonight over Utah State. It was 17-10 at the half. Alabama with the lead. It winds up 48-17. Very impressive start for Alabama in the 2004 season. A couple of things we were wanting to know. How would Brody Cole respond? Having an opportunity to come back after surgery. Does a great job. He's sharp, as is the rest of this Alabama football squad. Handshakes all around. I'd like to see this. The Tide will celebrate a 48-17 win over Utah State. Back to wrap things up in just a moment.